Welcome back, my... Well, you know what? I'm tired of the cheeky monkey thing. Let's do something else. Oh, all right, then. Welcome back, my cheeky bee monkeys. Well, I gotta tell you, we've got, we've, got to, we've got to come up with something new for next year. Come on, we'll be doing the monkeys all damn year. Got to get something else. You know, welcome back. Wickedy whack. There you go. That'll... That's not bad. Send me an email. Let's vote. If you can think of something other than just cheeky monkeys, email me at uh, Craig at the internet. Um, I'll be right with you. I just, uh, I just have to write a letter. Now I'll be right with you, all right? Dear David Letterman. <laughs> I know that Christmas is not here yet, but I just wanted to send you a note and say thank you for my lovely present. How did you know that I wanted a hot tub? <laughs> Slash jacuzzi. It's very warm and is lovely when I'm sitting in it with my hose. I'm writing a letter. The hose that I use to fill up the hot tub, of course. <laughs> David, I know you enjoy a hot tub, so why not come out to California and sit in the lovely bubbly warm water with me? <laughs> Yours, TV's Craig Ferguson. Right, we'll get that in the mail and we'll get it right now, right? <laughs> Time for an email tonight. We do an email. Email her. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, from Anne in Memphis. Now, do you think that's Memphis, Tennessee, or Memphis, ancient Egypt? <laughs> I don't know. She says, Craig, you know so much about everything. Why do we not see baby pigeons in large cities? Well, that's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> I think they probably live in the country until they're old enough to, you know, come around and try and live on gum. <laughs> You know, they live out in farms. They have little baby pigeon farms and say, right, now you're ratty and unpleasant. Off you go to the big city. I don't know. Disney should make a movie about that. Dear Santa Claus. <laughs> Dear Santa, this year, you probably want to know whether or not I've been naughty or nice. Well, here's the news. I've been naughty. But it was worth it. <laughs> so don't bring me any presents, you big, fat, judgmental bastard. <laughs> no, Craig Ferguson. There you are. Get that in the post, will you? All right. Oh, hang on. I'll be right with you. I just have to write a letter, and then I'll be right with you, all right? <laughs> all right. Dear Dan Rather. <laughs> You have criticised CBS for having Katie Couric read the news. <laughs> you said she made the news sort of tarty. Excuse me, I'm trying to write a letter. Dan, I think you're just jealous because you never had lovely long legs to read the news like Katie. <laughs> Don't you do something useful, Dan, and go and work on the History Channel and, <laughs> and do a programme about yourself? <laughs> because you're history to me, Dan. I would rather not see you again. <laughs> rather not see you again. Yeah. Get out of the mail. Uh, listen, I'll be right with you. I just have to write a letter, and then I'll be right with you, all right? <laughs> Dear David Letterman. <laughs> Dear Dave. I don't know if you remember me or if you know who I am. But you worked very hard to get us back onto the air. 
And let me be the first to say, do you think you're doing it? heck do you think you were doing? <laughs> I was having a lovely time, Dave. I learned to ski, I went to some lovely places. <laughs> I wonder if you could arrange to have a two-month strike every year round about Christmas. I'd love it. <laughs> wait, wait. I know and I realise that some writers may be upset because they think I'm making fun of the strike. But if you are a writer, and you can't recognise irony... <laughs> ..then perhaps you should be in a different profession. <laughs> perhaps a profession which requires you to have no sense of humour and no soul. <laughs> May I suggest Hollywood producer? Yes, Craig Ferguson. There you are. Get out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I'm just finishing my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to write a letter. Excuse me. Dear Justin Bieber. <laughs> Try to write a letter, excuse me. <laughs> I really like your hair. <laughs> it's combed forward in the style of the Emperor Nero. <laughs> also, I believe Caligula also combed his hair forward like that. I wonder if you know who Caligula is. <laughs> Caligula was a mad Roman emperor. He only uh, was emperoring for a couple of years. <laughs> he took over from Tiberius, who was a mad old bastard. <laughs> anyway, Caligula made his horse a senator. <laughs> Doesn't that sound stupid? <laughs> Actually, not so much anymore. Anyway, Justin Bieber, I just wanted to say... Turn over. Uh, I just wanted to say I think you're fabulous with that song you do about love. <laughs> you, know, you know that song where you sing, you know, you, you like things? <laughs> That's my favourite. Anyway, I just wanted to warn you anyway, because a friend of mine is a chap by the name of Danny Bonaducci. He's a lovely man, Danny. He's got a lot of tattoos. He's a bit crazy and he loves steroids. But... <laughs> Danny was a big star when he was 16 years old. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get a bit of quiet to write my letter? <laughs> anyway... Some things happened in between. <laughs> you know, because everyone liked him because he used to comb his hair forward as well. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Don't ever marry a prostitute. <laughs> Twice. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry for that noise in the letter, Justin. The audience won't let me finish my -la -la. letter. <laughs> Just turn it over. <laughs> anyway, the main thrust of this is just to say that I'm very concerned that a young man like you is getting all this fame and attention, whereas an old bastard like me is getting next to nothing. <laughs> Be very careful, young fella, because, well, I don't want to seem bitter or jaded, but there are some people in show business who aren't very nice. <laughs> and most of them are called agents and lawyers. 
Yours. TV screen friend. Get that in the mail, will you? Get it right out of the mail right away. All right, we'll be right back with this full of chicken. <laughs> Timothy in Royston in Georgia. Timothy says, uh, who write your joke for you? <laughs> oh, no one write my joke for me. <laughs> who write your joke for you? Who write your email for you? 